I merely waved my hand, and the tank crumpled into scrap metal. I am Dr. Manhattan, possessing the power to create and annihilate universes. I can disintegrate and reassemble matter with a thought, from altering the molecular structure of an object, to conjuring complex objects from nothingness. I command individual atoms, allowing me to vaporize matter instantly. I can even split my consciousness, enabling me to be present in multiple locations at once, attending to different matters. This form, sculpted from pure energy and bathed in blue, can change its shape and size at my will. I have no need to breathe, eat, or sleep, and I am immune to all known forms of physical harm. I was once an atomic physicist. During a laboratory experiment, I was accidentally trapped inside the test chamber. As the machinery activated, my body was utterly disintegrated within the energy field. Everyone presumed I was dead, but through sheer force of will, I reconstructed my own body, emerging as the blue being, Dr. Manhattan, a fusion of pure consciousness and energy. My abilities made me America's ultimate strategic asset during the Cold War. My very presence deterred Soviet military ambitions and even turned the tide of the Vietnam War. I became a god in the eyes of humanity. However, during a televised interview, Ozymandias set a trap for me, causing my colleagues and friends to develop cancer. This led to public belief that I was a source of radiation. I said, leave me alone! Under immense pressure and disillusionment, I retreated to Mars. After I left Earth, Ozymandias staged an attack by a fabricated alien creature, killing millions of people. He redirected global conflict towards a fictional common enemy. I saw through the entire deception, yet, I also recognized the outcome it produced. America and the Soviet Union set aside their differences, uniting against this perceived threat. And so, I made a choice. I understand. To protect this fragile peace, bought with millions of lives, I agreed to bear the blame. I confessed to causing the catastrophe. I became the scapegoat, and subsequently, I left Earth for good.